Hi, this is Kerry back with my second video on your little jellyfish from your jellyfish kit. In this video, we're going to work on doing the little frill bit around the edge and also doing your face onto your jellyfish. So, to do this, um, you will have followed the body part of the pattern in the first video and you will have got to this point at the end of round 17. So, what we're going to do is in this round, this is the most tricky round I'd say of the jellyfish because not only are you going to work into the front loop but you're also going to do a half double crochet and a double crochet into this round. So first of all let's look at the front loop only. So when you look at the V of your stitch, if you can see, there's two parts to it. There's that front part and the back. So when it refers to the front or the back of the loop, this part here is the front. So we'll insert our hook into there, but if we were working the back, we'd insert our hook into there. But for this round, we want to keep that loop at the back for attaching our body, our bottom of our body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use just that front part of the stitch to that part when we insert our hook to do our single crochet for the first stitch and every stitch around for this round. So what we want to do is we want to do one single crochet for our first stitch into that front part. So we just insert our hook into that side, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through too. So that's our first stitch. So we want to mark that with our stitch marker and mine's been done up. Just put that one into that stitch. Now if you want to, for just trialing this to start off with, on your contrast yarn just chain a few stitches and then you can trial doing this. So, but if you want feeling brave and you want to do it straight into here that's fine. So for our single, for our first stitch is a single crochet. So what we're going to do is for our second stitch, we're going to go, this is the half double crochet if you look. So to do your crochet, double crochets and half double crochets, what we're going to do first is yarn over. So you just want to wrap your yarn around your hook. So you just take it back and gather it so it goes on your hook. Then you're going to insert it into that front part of the stitch. So you've got that on, so that makes it look like it's free. You're going to yarn, bring your yarn through like you would in a normal single crochet, but this time you've got three hoops effectively. So as it's only a half double crochet, what we're going to do is yarn over again and bring it through all three parts of your stitch. So it makes it like that. So you continue it. The only bit different from a single crochet is you've done that yarn over and got that extra hook. Now the next stitch is a bit more complicated because it says free double crochet, so free DC into the same stitch. So because it's in the same section, we're going to do free double crochet into that next stitch. So to do that, we're going to yarn over again as normal, as we did with the half, insert it into that front part of the stitch only, as so. We're going to yarn over and we're going to pull it through, give it a little wiggle if it doesn't want to come. So you've got three loops on your hook. Now the, how this different, the difference between this and a half double crochet is what we're going to do is yarn over and we're going to bring it through the first two loops only so that then you have two loops on your hook still. Then we're going to yarn over again and we're going to pull that through the remaining two loops. So it's a bigger stitch. So then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over again and because we want three in that same chain space, we're going to yarn over, take it through that side again and pull through. This bit gets a bit trickier. So you've got the three loops. So then you're going to yarn over and go through the first two and then you're going to yarn over again and pull it through the last two. So that's your two half double crochet, uh, two double crochets in that stitch. So you're going to yarn over again 
insert it into that part again, grab your yarn, pull it free. Ooh, I missed it. That's it, so you got free. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through the last two. So you're working in twos in that stitch. So that makes the top of your little bit there. Now in the next stitch, we're going to do a, another half double crochet. So you yarn, pull it through. So you got three and then you go through all three because it's half. So you're only doing half the stitch. And then in your last one, you're going to do that single. So that makes the top of your little shape and then if you turn it over you see from working only the front part of your of your stitch you have these little top bits left so the back part of the V is still there so to finish that little section off what we're gonna do is we're gonna just slip stitch into that next stitch so you insert your hook as normal you pull it free so you've got two little loops, but instead of yarning over again, you're just going to pull that first loop through the other. So the front loop goes through, so it makes a little lump on the top. So then if you look at your pattern now, we're going to go into a repeat stage. So in brackets, it has the slip stitch, then a single crochet, then the half double crochet, then three double crochets, then another half double crochet, a single crochet, and then another slip stitch. And we're gonna repeat that going around until at the end we end up with one more, and then at the end, we'll slip stitch it into that first single crochet of the round. So to do your next one, we're gonna do another slip stitch just into that first part. So again, you're only going into that first front bit of the stitch. We're going to yarn over, pull it through, and then pull it through. Ooh, I'm sweeping the way. Pull it through that part so it makes it not a stitch. Then we're going to do our single crochet into the next one. So we go and yarn over before. We just insert, pull it through, pull it through both as normal. So then we do our half double crochet. So if you remember, we yarn over, insert our hook, that's it, and then we yarn over, pull it through, three loops, then go yarn over again, pull it through, all three. And then we're going to do a double crochet three times. So we insert, and it's always better when you're doing this part to yarn over like that, then insert your hook, kind of rotate it so it goes around the front. Yarn over, pull three. You've got three loops. You're just going to go through the first two. Move that back stitch on there. So you've got two. Yarn over, pull three. So then you've got that. Yarn over again. Insert. Yarn over, three loops. Go through two go through two and then we need one more on there so we're going to just do yarn over insert pull three three loops go through two go through two so then we're going to do it again into the next bit so we're gonna oh, sorry i'm going wrong there so we're going to yarn over insert grab our yarn and then this is the half double crochet so we're going to go through all three and then we're going to do a single crochet so we just do it as normal and then we're going to do a slip stitch and that finishes our first bracket so now we're going to do it again so we're going to do a slip stitch Then we're going to do a single crochet. Then we're going to do a half double crochet. So insert. Oops, sorry, I'm going wrong. 
Wrap around, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and oh, pull through all three, sorry. We're going to yarn over, insert, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So we need another two in there, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops, go through two, go through two. So yarn over, insert, pull through, three loops, yarn over, go through two, go through two. So then we're moving on to our next stitch, which is a half double crochet. So we yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and go through all three. Now it's single crochet, so we just do that front part. Then we want a slip stitch. That's our second, then we're going to slip stitch again. So we're going to single crochet. And remember to only go through your front part, so your back part's there. Then we're going to go through and do a half double crochet. Double crochet, double crochet, and one more double crochet. There we go. And then we're going to go through and we're going to do a half double crochet. single crochet and a slip stitch so and then what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing that around until we reach back to the beginning so we're going to do another slip stitch Then we're going to do another single crochet, another half double, and then three doubles. So, if you want to keep doing that around the outside until you get to the end, and then I will show you how to do the face. So, check out my next video for the face.